Not so long ago, I got my hands on a Keys Dream Pro VR all-in-one headset by chance. Heartbroken by the bad experience of VR in the early years, I almost lost my enthusiasm for VR. But the excellent experience, rich resources and functions of the Key Dream Pro VR all-in-one headset, successfully restored my view of VR. In the two months since I got started, I have been playing games almost every day, and in addition to my knee injury in the first half of the year, the Key Dream Pro VR all-in-one headset has almost become my only way of exercising. My appetite was successfully whetted by Key, and I gradually began to pay attention to the domestic VR industry. Recently, the Key launched a new product called the Key Mix VR all-in-one headset. The mix in the product name successfully hooked piqued my interest. According to the official introduction, the full name of Mix VR is Mix Virtual Reality, and the Chinese translation is Mix Virtual Reality, MR for short. The key mix aims to realize the function of MR through its binocular full-color video perspective technology. VR is a common topic in the past few years. Its principle is to put people in the virtual world through head-mounted devices. Nowadays, with the improvement of the ecological development of VR software and hardware, the ease of use, performance, clarity, richness of resources, etc. of the equipment are getting better and better, and the immersive experience can already be achieved very well. Compared with the Key Dream Pro VR all-in-one headset last year, the Key Mix VR all-in-one headset has been upgraded with larger memory and optimized the appearance and wearing comfort. A pair of cameras are added in front, which is also the key to Key's MR function. Both cameras are 16 megapixels and support RGB full color and can realize VST video perspective. This should be the world's first consumer grade full color video perspective device. One of the problems I encountered with using VR devices before was that I couldn't see the real world. For example, if I wanted to pick up something or heard something and wanted to get up and have a look, I had to take off my glasses. The Key Mix VR all-in-one headset, through these two cameras and VST full-color perspective technology, allows me to clearly see real-time images of the real world, even when wearing the device, and the opening method is also very simple, just tap glasses twice. Because the Zihu platform can only upload GIFs within 10 megabytes, I had to compress the recorded video to one-third of the original size. But even if the resolution is only one-third, the real-time images displayed by Adventure Mix are very good in terms of clarity and color performance and it can achieve zero latency follow-up a picture in action, and it is also very good in distortion control around the picture, which also makes it so that I will not feel dizzy, no matter how much I shake my head while wearing it. In the past, when playing VR, it was almost impossible to watch something on the phone or reply to the message. You had to take off the glasses to realize it. And even in a low-light environment, it also has good night scene capabilities and color reproduction, it is really usable and very easy to use. In the MR demo application MR Dinosaur in the App Store of Adventure Mix, we can directly summon a dinosaur in the real world out of thin air, and we can also change the dinosaur species, and let the dinosaur do things like roar, attack, run, etc. The corresponding actions are very vivid and clear. In the future, this application will also enrich the variety of dinosaurs, and will also add the appearance details, physiological structure, dinosaur skeleton, etc. of each dinosaur, and eventually it will become an educational popular science application. And dinosaurs can also be replaced with various flowers and plants, mechanical digital, aircraft tanks and other things, which may be a bit boring for adults, but for children, this is far more intuitive and detailed than reading popular science books. At the same time, using the MR function, it can also realize the scene of floating web pages that can be seen in sci-fi movies. The built-in Firefox browser provides the web versions of the four applications of Bill Billy, Baidu, Weibo, and Duin by default. Up to five web pages can be browsed at the same time, and its picture quality and clarity are also very good. From this MR demo application and browser presentation, I can see the ambition of a key in the field of MR. In the future, the key can bring many scenes from science fiction, and animation works to reality through MR. For example, to implement the MR version of Pokemon Go, for example, as long as an empty desk can realize office work, and even use the screen sharing function, you can entertain with friends. The problem of software payment is an eternal pain in the internet ecology of the world. Consumers all over the world seem to have a heartfelt resistance to paying for software. Anyway, just don't pay. The reason is that software and hardware are two separate entities. After paying a certain amount of money to purchase hardware, consumers find that they need to spend another sum of money to purchase software. It feels like I bought a book, and when I want to read it, I find out that I have to pay to unlock the content in the book, which is really uncomfortable. Due to the late start of the internet in China and the lack of regulatory capacity, a bunch of websites that provide pirated resources have been born, coupled with the introduction and proliferation of games with free play plus and app purchase mechanism. This has led to domestic audio-visual, and the standalone market is struggling, and domestic consumers can hardly accept software that needs to be paid to use. 
Although merchants have invented various anti-piracy and anti-cracking methods for this purpose, and even the government has passed legislation to curb piracy and cracking, there has not been a good atmosphere for software payment in China so far. As for VR, a device that not only needs to pay for hardware, but also pays for film and television memberships and games, almost precisely stepped on the nerves of consumers. One of the main reasons why many people are unwilling to experience VR, is because VR requires multiple payments, and the second is that they are not sure whether the quality of the VR resource library is worth their money. When consumers hesitate, they will naturally choose not to purchase. This phenomenon has greatly affected domestic VR sales and ecology. The key mix has its own resources when it leaves the factory, and users do not need to purchase it again. The key has launched a total of four versions for different groups of people, divided into through your film and television version, through your game version, through your all-round version, and all-round dual headset version. After purchasing the corresponding version, you can enjoy the corresponding game or video resource library. And this gave birth to another question, someone wants to ask. If there are not many things in the resource library, isn't that equivalent to buying for nothing? This is actually nothing to worry about. First of all, in terms of film and television resources, the key is backed by the mountain of a key. I don't need to say more about this. Movies, TV series, animation, etc. are all the latest resources of the key. You can watch whatever you want, and there is also a special 3D movie zone, so you don't have to worry about not having any sources to watch. Don't worry about the game, the key's game section should be the most outrageous store I have ever seen, and it is not an exaggeration to describe it as high intensity update. I have been exposed to Dream Pro since October, just two in January, a bunch of games were added, and the quality is very high. The most outrageous thing is that I also found Angry Birds and Fruit Ninja in it. I didn't expect foreign VR games to be stationed in adventure. The VR version of Angry Birds turns the original 2D images into 3D modeling, and you can also destroy buildings from different angles. Coupled with the real physics engine, you feel like you are building structures after the difficulty comes up later. Mechanics course. The VR version of Fruit Ninja is also very cool. Originally, it could only be played with two fingers, but now you can swing your arms to operate two katana swords. I almost threw the handle away several times because of the wide range. It's really good to have sports while playing games. In addition, there are various sports, FPS, and music games in Akiz Game Mall, plus Akiz High Intensity New Frequency, there is no need to worry about not playing enough. Backed by Akiz Film and Television Resource Library for 3 years, plus 3 years of high intensity updated game resource library, the buyout system idea of Akiz Mix has successfully solved the pain point of software payment, which can not only eliminate consumers' concerns, can also stimulate the vitality of the VR market. Hardware manufacturers can sell more devices, and software developers are more motivated to create more, more interesting, and better games and applications. The complete triple win. I also sincerely hope that more manufacturers can join in and let the domestic VR market develop and prosper together. Let me just say more, in fact, I personally think that VR devices are similar to mobile phones. With the rapid advancement of technology, they should be replaced after 2-3 to three years. Therefore, the 3-year rights are actually equivalent to lifelong rights. To sum up, the key mix can be said to be the pioneering model that applies binocular full-color video see-through MR to consumer-grade VR all-in-one headsets. After all, there are still devices that support full-color see-through, depth information, and MR interaction. Relatively few, there are almost no mainstream prices, mass-produced, and serious AR devices are also extremely expensive, and the experience is also very general. The key mix has done a good job in terms of positioning and experience, and the addition of MR also opens up new possibilities for future VST MR applications. The present, MR-related fields and applications are still in the early stage, but with the follow-up developers, it is believed that the gameplay of VR all-in-one headsets will be further expanded. The key mix is an excellent VR all-in-one headset, and it also provides a 3-year buyout system mode for film and television and games. This way of saving money and worry can not only promote the development of the VR industry, it can also provide consumers with new choices that are different from the past. Thank you for watching this review, write your opinion in the comments below, have a nice day and see you soon.